Are you ready for this? Today we are in Central Park and I'm going to share with you some of my favorite ways to film with the Insta360 1R in 360 mode. As a solo creator without a camera crew, how do you create the footage that draws a viewer in and keeps them watching and wanting more? How can you leverage the Insta360 1R to get the best use with the least amount of time? Stay tuned to learn more as I check this camera out for the very first time myself and see just how well it does in some tough real world shooting situations here in New York. My name is Maliki Sherlock and this is Adorama TV. Welcome to another episode where I get to test some of the coolest tech gadgets at Adorama for content creators and put them through their paces here in New York. Today I'm going to be shooting with the Insta360 1R and showing you the various ways you can film and create cool looking content as a solo creator. Now I have my doubts but it will be interesting to see how versatile this 360 camera is and how well it can transform the footage into something that seems only possible with the camera crew. Okay, let's go take a look at this. At least it's waterproof and uh, doesn't mind taking a bath. So before I start shooting with the Insta360 One or let's discuss what we're trying to achieve here. The objective is to position yourself in the shot that goes beyond the traditional selfie vlogging angle. This is about creating a full length shot that can be included in your video narrative. You know, give the viewer a reason to watch more by including more unique and interesting angles that serve the story that you want to tell. So for now, let's jump straight into it and see what we can get. Shooting with a drone in New York isn't always practical or legal. On days like today, I'd love to be able to create an epic flight path, add in some cool twists and turns as we journey from the Dumbo neighborhood all the way down to Brooklyn Bridge Park. Soaring high among the buildings, navigating these blocks as we fly shredding through the streets, flipping around those corners and skimming over the water's edge. Well, today, these kind of shots are going to be a breeze because all it takes is an Insta360 and an invisible selfie stick. So were you fooled? Let me know in the comments what did you think of my take on the fake FPV drone shot and let's savor this moment for a brief second and just enjoy the view. It's easy to get sucked into the latest tech trends while watching a YouTube video or your favorite tech blog. Far too often, it's just hype and promises that exceed reality. But as I play with this Insta360 1R, I can't help but wonder and marvel at what they've been able to accomplish. It creates these jaw-dropping images with little to no effort. It's a category of camera that I've used and dismissed in the past. But this, this is something different. It's magical and it puts you in the picture and gives you complete control over your own narrative. This will put an end to you running around in circles, trying to get that small crew together to help you with your videos. Retiming, reframing, and that auto tracking. The possibilities as a solo creator are as limitless as your own creativity. Now it's time to own the narrative and how you think about storytelling in general. The Insta360 1R it's an impressive piece of kit and it shouldn't come as any surprise as it was developed by the same company that makes the Insta360 Titan and that's an 11K cinematic 360 VR camera priced at around $15,000. What we're seeing here is the trickle down effect of R&D to a consumer device that's both astonishing for its capabilities and price performance. At less than $500 for the twin edition bundle, they've nailed it with a modular approach to camera design. 
I'm using two invisible selfie sticks today. One is about three feet in length and that's the invisible Insta360 selfie stick. And the second stick is actually just my mic boom pole, which is great because it's about three meters in length and that's gonna work perfectly for getting those long full length body shots. The Tiny Planet video effect is a polarizing choice for many. You either love it or you hate it, and I wasn't sure whether or not I even wanted to put it in here, but you know, I kind of like it. So I'm actually going to keep it in here, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. This is just to give you a bit of an example and to show you what you can do with Tiny Planet. It's an awesome way just to sort of like create a stylized uh, visual. Again, I'm not sure exactly where you would use it. Whatever, you know, each to their own, right? But it's still cool. Although, having said that, I can see it being used for IG Stories, Reels, TikTok, Snapchat. Examples of how you would position and hold the invisible selfie stick. The stick is in my left hand, and as you can see, I'm framed here in the pathway moving from left to right. And for me, it's about those leading lines. We cut to the far side. I'm zooming out to reveal myself in the shot. This is where I'm holding the selfie stick in the opposite hand. And then, this is where we're gonna go and punch into the picture, which is another really cool way just to sort of show your environment and your position in it. In this next shot, the selfie stick is actually over my left shoulder and I'm holding it in my right hand. And it's a great angle because you can basically see that elevated view behind you. You can see the view to your right or to your left. And then you have that full body over the shoulder view as you look forward. This next shot is about positioning the selfie stick in front of you and it gives you the opportunity to be able to use it to pan around to focus on what's in front. I do hope that that helps you. There are different ways in which you can hold and position the selfie stick that will affect your composition and your ability to reframe. So to summarize, shoot with the invisible selfie stick out to the side, above your head, in front of you, over your shoulder and that technique will give you the flexibility in your shot choice afterwards that you'll have enough footage to be able to cut together and make something awesome. This is your essential tech talk in a New York minute. Standout features on the Insta360 One R, synergy of the software and hardware, which I think Insta360 have nailed. You see, computational video is now a very real thing. We've moved way beyond apps that just function as remote controls to apps that truly leverage the silicon for enhanced performance. AI, machine learning, computer vision, sensor data, Look, these are the buzzwords that enable us to get the shots that were once impossible with a regular video camera. At the end of the day, these are just tools that assist us and help us with our visual narrative. <laughs> or not. It's lightweight, does pretty much everything that you want it to do, but if I had to pick one standout feature, then it has to be the insanely good flow state stabilization. It's the reason why some of this footage looks so good. I mean, I've seen footage where the camera's at the end of a 20 foot pole and it still looks incredible. Now the biggest negative, look, like everything else this small, it's the battery life. So do yourself a favor and just go pick up another one. Is it worth the money? Will it provide the value that you expect? Continue watching, I'll let you know my thoughts at the end of the video. I'll also link to the accessories that I used in the comments below. That's it, the essential tech talk in a New York minute. The bullet time effect can look awesome and even more dynamic when you're running. In order to create this style of shot, you'll need to pick up the Insta360 bullet time cord. It's an optional accessory, it's about 20 bucks, and it allows you to spin the camera overhead in bullet time mode. You screw in the quarter 20 tread on the bottom of the camera, pull out the retractable cord, and then you're ready to turn on the camera. Switch it to bullet time mode and settings, start the recording, and then swing the bullet time cord overhead. Practice spinning the camera around your head, but not too fast. One second is basically the ideal rotation duration. Your aim is to keep the camera as parallel to the ground using a circular smooth motion while maintaining an even level. And that's pretty much it. The magic of the Insta360 software does the rest for you. The beauty of nature in the concrete jungle. Isn't it just absolutely gorgeous? Here are three different shot types that you can try out with your Insta360 1R. First up is the time-lapse. 
The idea that you can reframe and reposition the camera angle afterwards is a game changer and you don't need a motion tracking rig at all. So that for me makes this one of my favorite features. Following on from that, this is unbelievable. This is deep track. This is the recognition engine and algorithm working perfectly to track me as I move through frame. Now you can see that I've been dealing with snowflakes for most of the afternoon. It's worth it to keep that lens clean and let's jump into the very next shot or two or three. There's nothing better than scratching that creative itch than with a good jump cut. And this is where I take everything that I've learned today to create one cool immersive time-lapse shot. And although this whole sequence is pretty much just one single take reframed in post, it really does give you the opportunity to tell the story from any angle you want. I've been proved wrong. After a day of shooting with the Insta360, I'm convinced that it can create footage that once only seemed possible with a camera crew. And that alone is worth it for me. So the possibilities here are endless. The key is to create no matter what. Today, I didn't expect it to be snowing, but I'm glad it did. And I'm happy that I was able to use this opportunity to capture some interesting and unique content. If you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, like, comment and subscribe, it really helps. And if you get one of these Insta360 one hour cameras, let me know in the comments. I'd love to take a look at some of the footage that you guys are creating. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I had a fantastic day today.